Hey everyone, welcome to TechWide. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 2336, smallest number in infinite set. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now, let's dive into the solution. So, in this problem, we have three functions, where these three functions will be called as instructions in the input, right? So, the problem says we need to start from the lowest possible positive integer that is 1. So we will initialize minimum number as 1 at the start, right? Then we need to have heap list, right? So these two will be initialized when smallest infinite set is called, right? So this will be initialized at the start of each and every input. So now before going to the pop smallest function, we will say add back function at first, right? So assume we would like to add value 2 to the heap list. So before adding 2 to the heap, we need to check whether this number is less than the minimum number that we initialized at the start. And this number should not be in heap. So this two conditions should be satisfied before adding this value to the heap, right? So in this case, the value is 2 and it is not less than 1, right? So it is not satisfied. So we will not add 2 to the heap. So now we will see pop smallest function. So first in the pop smallest function, I will check if there is any element in the heap list or not. If there is an element in the heap list, I will pop the smallest element from the heap list, right? I will just pop that and return that particular value. So else if this is empty, I will increment the minimum number by one. And then I will return minimum number minus 1. So now I will explain why we are doing this. So before seeing that, so in this case, my minimum number will become 2. And I will return 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, right? So I will return 1 for this particular instruction. So the reason why we are incrementing it by 1 is that Suppose if I call the pop smallest function again, our minimum number will increase to 3 and then I will return 2, right? Minimum number minus 1, I'm going to return 2. So when returning 2, this 2 is the value that I didn't add in the heap list. So in other words, I can say that 2 is the smallest number that has not been added to the heap yet. So this ensures that we return the smallest possible number, right? So the time complexity will be log n and space will be n, right? That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos and keep supporting us. So initially we will initialize minimum number with 1 and then we will initialize heap list and then in the pop smallest function we will check if heap is not empty we will pop the smallest element from the heap list right else we will increase the minimum number variable by 1 and then we will return the minimum number variable taking difference of 1 right so in the add back function I will check if the current minimum number is greater than the current number and then I need to check if the current number is not in heap list right 
If this is true, I will append the current number in the current heap list, right? That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Now to check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.